Hey everyone, NavyDoc5184 here and welcome to a new video reaction. We are reacting to X-Men 97 and I'm actually very excited to get into this show because my cousin briefly kind of talked about it in the sense that uh, you know how with the show sometimes they give you the option to skip intro and uh, he basically said that he's never going to skip this intro which already tells me a lot about it and after seeing a preview of it even though the animation is clearly modern day animation it looks like it's in the style of the old 90s x-men show that i used to watch pretty much every day after school so i am really really excited to get into this uh very curious to see uh what they go um i am going to preface this by saying though that um i've not read any of the comics really anything i know is from the show and maybe the movies and that's pretty much where my knowledge of X-Men is limited to. And even then, it's been so long since I've watched anything X-Men that it's all probably going to feel very brand new to me, even though, again, it's almost going to feel like... I almost imagine there's probably going to be a slight nostalgic feel to it. But we shall see. We are going to go ahead and get started uh, with the reaction. I'll leave a timer on for those of you watching on Patreon with the watch along. Uh, that way you guys know exactly where I'm at it is available on Disney Plus. Let's go ahead and get started. As we await more details out of Paris, we take a look back on another life cut short. Professor Charles Xavier. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. By former NSA what? Agent Henry Gyrick has spurred increased sympathy toward mutants. Damn, what did I miss? What is going on here? Hurt me. I'm Roberto da Costa, heir to the da Costa fortune. What's this freak's trick? No clue. Kid didn't even try to use his powers. Collared him just in case. What is going on? And spread out. Uh oh. Mistress of the elements. Oh. Oh. Oh, you don't want to mess with Storm, y'all. You don't want to mess with Storm. Then you are a fool. Her funeral. <gasps> she tried to warn you. Whole announcement stick didn't go over so well, did it? Pardon me, Bishop, for striving to resolve matters peacefully. What is I am so lost. I was about to say, it's either Cyclops or Gambit. Oh, we. Oh. Oh. Wow, it really were trying to go all out with that one. Take his visor before he starts up again. No, don't. I surrender. <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> These beignets needed me more than you did, mon ami. The Friends of Humanity had retrofitted Sentinel weaponry. That's an interesting look for Gambit. We've rodeoed more <laughs> Sentinels than I care to count. And Storm and Bishop are made of sterner stuff than you think. We have to stay vigilant, no matter how good things seem out there. The last few months have been rough, what with the professor being gone and all. I still need to know what's going on with that. I hope they give some sort of explanation. What the? Scott, while I trust that all my students would gladly die for my dream of a better future. Oh, that must be more. Human and mutant live free of your total disdain for fun. I would prefer it be avoided. Maybe this hell. What the? <laughs> what the? Remy, you could have hurt someone. I feel like I've missed out on a lot, y'all. Oh, it must be Beast. Yep. Salutations mm. and welcome. I'm blue, very blue. Wow. An astute observation, <laughs> my boy. Here. Or if you prefer my friendly nom de guerre, Beast. That bear at the foot of your bed is... Name's Jubilee. And dude, I get it. One day life's fresh, then the next day you're waking up to a blue monkey singing Mozart as he tinkers with doohickeys. <laughs> He's Jubilee, shame on you. And this doohickey is an elegant piece of art capable of teleporting someone through time and space. 
Bishop's bling. He's a time traveler. Look, you're scared, Roberto. I get it. Just give us the day to figure this out. Make sure you're safe, and then you can go do whatever a kid like you does. At least say there's something to do around here besides listen to Mozart. I think Jubilee's got you covered, my dude. It's the danger room. It's where we train. That's Magneto, the professor's ex-bestie. They had, uh, different takes on mutant human coexistence. You could say that. <sighs> Better show me those powers, tough guy. Seriously, girl, get to life. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Show the lady some respect. Oh, so scary, Jubilee. Can we stop now? Computer and program. <gasps> Scary enough for you. Oh. <laughs> he, that dude probably done wet and crapped himself. You know, if he were here, the team wouldn't be shooting hoops while slime like the Friends of Humanity are running around with Sentinel blasters. You're too hard on yourself and the team. With the baby coming, maybe it's time to think of a life beyond the X-Men. The X-Men need us here. The team will be fine. Our son will need us more. Deep down, you know that. Oh, boy. Bozo here scared Roberto off. Cyclops, what if those creeps with the sentinel gizmos find him? <sighs> Logan, take that nose of yours and go find the kid. I have a feeling Wolverine is not going to have a good time here. I know it's called X-Men 97, but I'm definitely not getting a 1997 vibe with this. Let's just find this trust fund baby and get out of here, Morph. <laughs> I know what's wrong. How? Oh. Why, I'm Jean Grey, humble telepath extraordinaire. Morph? I'm having the most beautiful baby in the world with the most boring man in the world. And Morph? Oh, hello, you on the sidelines. Oh, no. Oh, oh. So how are they tracking him specifically? And why are they tracking him specifically? Uh, Jubilee, that's not a good idea right now. If we ran when they saw us coming, dropped one of their little toys too. Great. Oh so boy. These bad boys okay. Before things get too hot to handle. Did you honestly think we'd roll over and let mutants take over the planet? That we wouldn't fight back? Yet your cruelty has only made humanity more sympathetic to our cause. Oh, did it? I have a whole lot of questions going on in my mind right now. And you get an A for effort, Mr. Summers. But we both know you're no Charles Xavier. You're right. I'm not Charles Xavier. He'd reason with you. Be patient. He'd do everything in his power to save you. Save me? From what? You? No. But have you met my wife? Hatred weakens oh! 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 <laughs> amplifies my psychic powers, allowing me to penetrate your thoughts from any distance I please. Uh, well played. Something's wrong. Someone else. What the? What's going on? Said someone else. Someone else going into his mind? No, no, not again. What the? What is going on? What is that? What was okay. that? What I felt. We have to stop Trask. Now. We fly into the coordinates, detain Trask, and shut down Master Mode for good. Why do I have a feeling it's not going to be anywhere near as simple as that? Oh! Hang on, people! 
If I didn't know any better, I'd think they'd... Oh! Oh, this ain't good. Well, good thing you can fly, Storm, but what about everybody else? I'm about to say... I mean, granted, Wolverine could probably take the fall. Gambit, I'm a little worried about. Oh, Rogue's got Gambit. Maybe? Another catch the X-Men day. Solid work, team. See you on the ground. Solid work? What, just making sure that not everybody died? Because that's the only positive I gained out of this. Gyrick warned me you were coming, but you're still animals, and you need to be put down. Okay. They're starting this series off with a bang, ain't they? <laughs> you know, as easy as they're making this look, I have a horrible feeling that it's meant to be. This has got to be a setup. Change of heart? Lewis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful and voluntary friendship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beast, I love you. Okay, so what's Bishop's deal? Oh, oh. Okay, that could have been worse. But yeah, I'm not familiar with Bishop. What's his deal? I don't understand what his power is. Feed my command and reclaim these relics of hatred. Avida Sane. Oh. Okay. Morph, belly up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. You know, there was a reason Morph was my favorite as a kid. I think I like him even more now. Yet again, humanity is in the X-Men's debt. Trask would rather humans and mutants go to war than work together. We all win when men like him fail. You sound like Charles. He would have been proud today. It was a team effort. <laughs> Question is, what's your future? Your parents don't know, do they? Some sort of solar energy. Still figuring it out. Makes me strong, though. Really strong. Whenever I do this, it just reminds me that I'm different. That I'm lying to them. Be a next man, Jubilee. I don't even want to be myself. Here. Hmm. What's your job? Hot and rich? Don't forget single. Page me. <laughs> I got a jet, too. Page me? Wow. Wow. Sensors show the intruder has breached the professor's old office. Uh. Magneto, what are you doing in our home? Uh. Oh, good question. I beg to differ, Cyclops. The last will and testament of Charles Francis Xavier, as you all will see, his fortune, his school, everything he built, everything he fought for, now belongs to me. My X-Men. Whoa! Okay, y'all, that was episode one of X-Men 97. It's me and my X-Men, and, um... Wow! Talk about a bombshell ending. Wow, I am literally speechless right now. I gotta say, hot and heavy first episode, I, I really enjoyed it. And I'm definitely, uh, definitely looking forward to episode two because I need to know what in the world is going to happen now. I, I, there's no way I can imagine that Professor X would have left the X-Men in the care of Magneto. Uh, Again, maybe there are just some things I'm just not completely familiar with because A, it's been so long since I've seen anything X-Men, and B, I haven't read the comics, so there could be plenty that I have missed. Um, I really have no idea how 
I guess you could say true to the comics this show is so far. I don't know. All I know is that there's just no way in my head that I can fully accept that Professor X would have done something like that. Something seems fishy about it, but at the same time, there is a part of me. It's like, maybe, but I mean, good Lord. I mean, first you get with the bombshell that Professor X is even dead. That was bad enough. You know, then we got this new mutant. Very interesting looking power once he finally decided to show what it is, but... One thing I gotta say is I kind of, it definitely had the feel of the old X-Men show. Like I said, not fully the look, but you know, it they definitely had the style, it definitely had the feel of it. And it, it almost took me back. And I gotta say, I am glad to see Morph back in action. I know that, you know, when I was a kid, he was always like one of my favorites. Always enjoyed him, but uh, you know, they seem to uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is with this one, but I really like the fact that he's in this one and heavily involved. So, uh, definitely need to probably look up Bishop a little bit and see what's up with him because I don't fully get what his power is. I don't know if it's just super, or I guess you could say mutant durability, whatever it is. I don't know. Um, either which way, definitely going to have to look it up. But all I know is that I thoroughly enjoyed this. And uh, I cannot wait to get into episode two. So uh, all that being said, I'll go ahead and end it there. Thank you all for stopping by and uh, watching this along with me. And I'll catch you all down the road.